Maayong bontag, mayong udog, maayong pagpanihapon. Welcome back to my channel. Nagbabalik na naman ang inyong ka-organic, ang inyong ka-organic na si Aki Siaw Kaayo. So for today's video, uh, before ako magsisimula, I would like to um, give you uh, some greetings. Kumusta kayo dyan? Salamat sa pagpatuloy, sa pagpapanood ng aking video every time, araw-araw na nag um, sa pagkakataon na ako'y nag upload ng video at kayo'y walang sawang nagsuporta at uh, pinapanood yung aking video. So, salamat sa inyong lahat at may God bless you all. May the Lord will bless you all. And so, for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin, it's all about uh, naranasan nyo na bang nagkaroon ng takot sa Panginoon? Um, takot na dumating na lang minsan or talagang isang araw nagkaroon kayo ng takot sa Panginoon takot na gumawa ng kasalanan takot na gumawa ng isang mali at sa takot na ikaw ay paparusahan ng Panginoon so ayan so isang magandang tanong no? isang magandang verse sa Bible na makikita natin sa Proverbs 9.10 Proverbs 19 it says there the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A knowledge of the holy is understanding. So the fear of the Lord is the is the beginning of wisdom. Dito sa verse na ito, talagang I really touched by this verse kasi nga from the from my previous life, talagang nakita ko at dumating sa panahon na natakot ako sa Panginoon. Natakot ako na gumawa ng mali, gumawa ng kasalanan dahil nga sa pagmamahal ng Panginoon. I was remember a uh, few years ago before I completely uh, before I changed or let's say yung yung loko that I complete completely changed. Um I remember that the Lord give me a dream or a dream of vision is a vision of dream na ang story ng aking dream it was the first time na talagang the Lord really He caught my attention on that dream na the dream was all the gays here in Dubai or here in UAE was been caught and they killed them all so, doon sa panaginip ko na iyon, hinuli ang mga bading at pinatay silang lahat. Nandun ako, kasama ako doon, but on that, on that dream, kung saan ako nandoon, nakatakas ako dahil sa panaginip ko, parang nakalipad ako. And then, doon sa um, interpretation doon sa dream na yon, the moment when I flee, or nung lumipad ako, Ibig sabihin doon, I was been saved. Na-save ako doon sa sitwasyon na papatayin yung mga bading. Kasi nga, yun yung uh, law dito sa Dubai na bawal din talagang. Um, I mean, homosexual or bading, it's, they, it's okay. They are accepted. But once again, yung itratrato mo yung sarili mo as a woman, you are going to dress up like a woman yun yung ayaw nila yun yung cross-dresser cross cross-dresser ka na at the same time magpapahaba ka ng buhok you are putting a makeup on your face etc etc et that anything that can seen on a one person or in a one man that he is a man but yet she look like a woman so yun yun from that time na nareceive ko yung instruction ng Panginoon then I start I start to have a fear of the Lord and by that the wisdom na sinasabi ng Panginoon because you have because I feel fear so nung nakita ko yun the wisdom of the Lord is start na nag, nag uh, anong tawag dito na nare-receive ko na nag ako ng wisdom that every time when I got a dream when I had a dream I know that the Lord it is he is the one who who, who is um, speaking on my dream so 
that's it's not only a one dream maraming pagkakataon na nananaginip ako it's because of I have a relationship with a fellow man and I also I have I am taking a pills a hormone so that I would be I will become a beautiful so by that time the Lord it's really give me instruction he always spoke into my dream na magkakasakit ako ito ang mangyayari sa akin but yet I don't listen doon sa instruction ng Lord but there was a certain time na talagang the Lord it's really distracting me kumbaga nadidisturbo ka doon sa word ng Panginoon and so that's the time that I obey what is the Lord's instruction I stop to have a relationship with men and then I stop taking hormones so that is why do nag start that I have a fear from the Lord talagang natakot ako natakot ako sa mga posibilidad na mangyari na magkasakit ako or natakot ako sa posibil- posibilidad na the Lord will not going to bless me ikikurse niya ako because I'm not obeying his instruction and talagang doon ko nakikita na ang pagmamahal ng Panginoon bilang isang anak ay talagang maa-amaze ka na pag itinawag ka nga ng Panginoon as I re- always remember what with the word of our pastor ang tinawag ay tinawag so pag tinawag ka hindi ka talaga tatantana ng Panginoon until now I have I have receiving a dream on uh, every situation every night talagang nakaka-receive ako ng dream na instruction ng Panginoon na ganito ganyan but yet sometimes hindi ko siya napapansin kumbaga minsan na uh, nadidead mako at the same time kahit yung word it's really strong but uh, may pagkakataon talaga na manghihina ka din ano as bilang isang tao na we are walking in the path of the Lord talagang we feel sometimes um, weak but by the grace of the Lord itinatataas itinaas ka rin palagi ng Panginoon so ayun yung mga um, pangyayari na talagang hindi ko uh, mapipigilan na maging emosyon kasi nga wow thank you Lord You are amazing God. You are really amazing Father. That if you love your Father, I mean, a Father, if he loves his son or daughter, talagang hindi kanya pa bababayaan. He will always give you an instruction. He will always give you a guidance. Kasi nga mahal ka ng yung ama. So ang ganda ng ang ganda ng ano no? Ang ganda ng word ng Panginoon. So by that talagang nagkaroon ako ng takot and this verse Proverbs 19 is really is talagang natatouch ako dito sa verse na ito kasi nga from that time na natakot ako sa Panginoon then I received the wisdom of the Lord the full understanding the understanding that it's not come from me but it is come from the Lord it is come from the Holy Spirit na siya yung nagagabay sa bawat pagkakataon at bawat sitwasyon na ikaw ay manghina at ikaw ay mawala ng pag-asa there is God who is always lifting you up once we humble ourselves and to ask to the Lord that Lord will you give me wisdom will you give me strength when I am weak will you give me wisdom kung ako ay nawawalan ng pag-asa to make a decision to make an, uh, any kind of decision na kailangan mo sa buhay mo. So, ayun. Yun lang yung aking mag-share sa araw na ito. And I hope every one of you ay nakarelate din muli sa ating pinag-uusapan at pinag-aralan sa gabing ito, sa araw na ito. At muli ako'y nag iimbita sa inyo na kayo ay manood ng manood sa aking mga video. Kung, ah, uh, palagay nyo naman ay uh, nakakapulot ito ng aral sa inyo, then share share to your friends friends, share to your loved ones kaya 
Ayan. So, please don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the bell upang magkaroon kayo ng notification sa bawat upload ko na aking i-upload sa aking channel. So, salamat muli and God bless you all. Makitag-kita tag-usab sa akong sunod ng video. Bye! God bless you!